What's up YouTube viewers, this is Head of Mia's Dragon coming at you with another video. I know my voice is a little bit under the weather today, but other than that, I'm doing very well. Um, maybe it's a seasonal thing for me, I mean my voice, I mean my sinus pressure and all that, but other than that, I'm not going to let that get in the way of another beautiful video. So, other than, uh, so I got to let you guys know one thing. Today, I want to do something a little bit different. I just got a call, or at least a Facebook message from one of my um, college colleagues. His name is Michael Cohen. If you guys don't know him, uh, you can look him up on Facebook. I'm not sure what his other social media links are, but he may he may be able to get that for me too. But he's, he's asking me to help him out with some workouts, give him some good tips and stuff like that. Not only that, um, he wants me to show, uh, show him a couple of um, fitness workout routines that I do that will help him out with his um, fitness blog. By the way, he's gonna make a fitness blog. Check that out too. Sad to say, nobody else will be riding with me, so it's just gonna be only me driving down to, to Michael's place. So I hope you guys can understand. By the way, this video is not only to help my friend Michael out, but also to help you guys out as well. So those of you who are interested in fitness workouts, wanna know what you can do to get yourself in shape, what can you do to get the abs that you want and the body that you needed and the stuff that you can get with the body, basically just, health benefits basically and um, all the stuff like that go ahead and subscribe to this video like hit that notification button follow me on my other social media platforms and uh, let's go ahead and get to it I want to go ahead and drive down there to Michael's place uh, we're meeting up by around about nine so uh, <laughs> I got some some time so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready so let's go ahead and go <sighs> so I'm here with my friend Michael Hi. what's up uh, just to let you know because I did tell him that you do have um, but you do play piano and stuff like that. Where can they find you on social media? I don't have social media for piano. Oh, you don't have social media for piano? Not yet. I'll eventually get to it, but <laughs> I'm so busy right now. And I, don't know I, got, I got you on that, dude. Okay, go ahead and let them know, like, if you do have social media, like, go ahead and let them know what, what your Instagram, YouTube. I mean, I don't really use much. I'm so busy with school and life that I don't really use much. Work. Oh, I understand this. I'm busy. <laughs> so, I mean, if I got reached out to, I probably would say my phone would be so Yeah, it's your... Um, if I get more active, I'll let you know. Alright. Other well, than that, I'm here to help my friend Michael out with some workouts. Uh, is it going to be like upper body or like lower body? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Either way, let's go ahead and get to it, guys. Here we are. Okay, I want to show Michael some some type of workouts that I do. Like, I don't like doing the same workouts over and over again. I already told you guys that before. But this time, I want to actually do some, like, um, pieces of upper body workouts. He said, um, he's the abdominal too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. So he's going to hold the camera. I hope you guys are watching. Check this at home too. Let me know in the comments how you guys do that. And other than that, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so what I'm going to do is going to do some, well, well, first off, three types of push-ups. There's going to be one that's called a diamond shape push-up. You put your hands together like this, like a diamond. And then... The other one's going to be a regular push-up and a wide step push-up. Now, just to let you know, the diamond shape push-up works on basically your, it kind of works on your shoulder muscles and basically work on the, like the inner parts of your chest, while the regular push-ups work on your, um, it's kind of like the middle part of your um, pectorals. And while the wide push-up kind of makes, it gets, it, let's just say it gets worse at the whole part of your pectorals, basically. So let me go ahead and do the diamond shape push-up. Demonstration. Now I would say do at least, now I do 30 or more, but if you're a beginner, I would suggest you do at least how much you can do and then work your way up. So let me go ahead and do 30. Next one, regular push-ups. You guys already know how to do this. All right, make sure your butt is not up in the air. Make sure you just take like a plank and your arms do all the work. So basically it's gonna do 30 of those. And the wide push ups, basically, you just go same thing straight down 30. Now, what I'm going to do is actually do a combination of these. Now, it's, it's actually very good for you to do explosive workouts. Basically, when you're doing it, you go all the way slow down and push up and go to the other part. Basically, let me go ahead and do a demonstration. So, go down to diamond, go down to a diamond, go down one. Two, three, four, five, explode up. 
Break a push up. One, two, three, four, five. Slow it up. Wide push up. One, two, three, four, five. Back to that. Now, for, the, for these explosive workouts, it helps out a lot. Because one thing for sure, when people go like slow, it helps work out the muscles that are actually using and attracting. It makes the muscles work faster and work faster. Now, if you are trying to go on fast, that's good. But those are people who are like basically either trying to show off or who already know how the workout goes. But you're not getting a good workout if you go fast. You got to go like at least at a slow pace down and explode back up. Explosion helps out with the entire muscles. It's kind of like getting a jump start. So let's go ahead and go to the abdominal workouts. Now, for this workout, it's called a Russian twist. Basically, you gotta keep your legs up. Now, uh, Michael, can you actually uh, do this? Hold yourself up like this. I have before. You have before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once upon a time, I was really fit. I was not fat. <laughs> and then I came to college and I gained a lot of weight. Oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happens sometimes. Like, you know, when we're in a certain part of your life, you used to do things. But now we're going to work right back, back up to this. Now, but that's a good story to do. <laughs> now, what you do for Russian leg tw Russian twist is that you keep your legs up like this. Make sure your body is straight up and be sure to breathe. I cannot stress that enough. Many people who do certain workouts kind of forget to breathe. Like, you make you walk around, breathe, sit down, breathe. But when they do the workouts, they forget to breathe. Right. I'm guilty of that. You don't remember that too? <laughs> I am. I've done it sometimes. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of like saying, oh, I have to focus on this one. Okay. <laughs> All right, now hold the leg up. Now, what you need to do is put like, pretty much I do like this. One, two, three. Now, both, hand, both hands put together. Now, when you're counting, don't go like, one, two, three, that's not it. You gotta go both sides times one. So it's one, two, three, four. Now, in my last video, I did 30. If you guys can't do 30, do 30. If you guys can't do 30, go up to the best you can and work your way up day by day. So let's go ahead and do 30 of these. Other thing we're going to do is crutches. Now, here's how I do one. And you can put like your legs together like this or put it like this. Either way, it works out better. So alternating crutches to this one, two, Three, four, and make it better. Just do like the same thing with a Russian twist. One, two, or you can just do regular crunches like one, two, three. Now, here's another thing too. Now, when you're doing like a certain type of workout, like uh, crutches, be sure to blow again, breathe, but also take your time with it. I have went fast, I know I did went fast, but. Be sure to take your time so your muscles cool. Muscles when you're doing this, it actually has time to contract with you. If you do it too fast, your muscles will basically go like. If you really want it to work out, you gotta go slow with it so your muscles can keep up with you. Now the next one is called leg leg lifts. Actually, we're gonna do some um, leg lifts and some scissor kicks. So it's the same thing. Put your hands under your butt, like this. Feet together. Make sure when your feet are near the ground, and LM does the ground, by the way. Now bring up and down. Up and down. And again, breathe. I gotta keep, I can't stress that now. <laughs> Alright, do 30 of those. The next one we're gonna do are called scissor kicks. So basically, you do like, there's two types you can do. You do the little ones, like little tiny scissor kicks, or you do the big ones. Now we're gonna have, and like, I already did the demonstration of those two. So basically you just do like at least 30 little, little scissor kicks, and 30 big scissor kicks. The little ones I showed you, and the big ones I showed you. The workouts. Like people wondering like why they're doing like these types of workouts, they like sweating the stuff out, like they're trying to breathe it out or they're trying to like get to their to the type of idea of how that they can lose the weight. But one thing you can do is actually what helps out a lot is cardio. Cardio is basically kinda of building up the the blood flow that hurt like goes through all through the whole body. Make sure that when you are doing if you like going for a walk or a jog, even for a walk, even for a jog. Or on a treadmill or anything like that. 
as long as your heart is pumping, you actually can like lose some weight doing that. Also, another thing too, I learned that if you actually eat before 7.30 or at least 7 o'clock before 8, and um, you will actually lose at least, I think, 2%, 2% fat, maybe some, you lose a little bit of weight, but I want to say a little a lot, but you lose a little bit. Then because um, <clears throat> the food that's already in your system is actually already digesting, so if you drink water or anything white after 7.30 or 8, then it'll be okay. But if you're eating it heavy, it's going to mess up, it's going to mess up your system. And, Gonna have a long time for your body to um, to work out that way. But other than that, that's not it. But I've always heard that you know water is a great meal replacement. Yeah. Um. Like for me, I am horrible about eating later because my schedule is hectic at times. Like I have work, and some Wednesdays I don't get home till eleven, so I'm a little hungry by then. I've been working. <laughs> So, you know, I am hungry, but if you drink water, that will take the hunger away until the morning. It will. It sure will. Like, you know, when you go for those restaurants and you eat, and, like, you know, they say, like, don't drink too much before you eat, mm -hmm. because all that drink that you did will fill up your stomach, and by the time you eat, you won't feel like you need the whole food. You right. Eat, like, half of what's up there, maybe, like, a few things, take little practice of it, and you say, like, why is it so full? Because you drink too much of your food. Right. Water will fill you up. But other than that, that's about it for a uh, workout down at my friend Michael Cohen. Alright. <clears throat> uh, hope you guys love this video. Hope you guys understand like the fundamentals of doing this stuff. Um, be sure to look up my friend Michael on Facebook. You do? I know you have Facebook. Yes, I do have we Facebook. Like, we contact each other on Facebook, so yeah. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys like, comment, share, subscribe to this channel. Um, also, go follow me on my other social medias, on my Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and of course YouTube. So, hope you guys have a nice time. Hit him is Dragon out. Hey guys, it's Hit him is Dragon. Uh, if you guys want me to feel better and you know make a new year i mean i did say i was gonna make my youtube videos for mondays actually my bad not mondays Your monday i don't know why i gotta think about monday but just so you guys know my video uploads are gonna be every sunday saturday and of course wednesday which is today yeah yeah that's my video immediately just put right here but uh other than that <clears throat> Be sure to hit that subscribe button, notification, my social media links, and I hope you guys have a nice, beautiful Feliz Ango Nuevo. And hopefully you guys can help me get up to at least 100 subscribers, or if not, 1,000 subscribers. So please let this be a great year for me. Please help me out, support my channel, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out and... Yeah! yeah.